All right, everyone, how about three quick cards and a bottom card with me? I thought we, I did a Twin Flame Journey reading earlier, and we got a devil in there. And I wanted to pull on that some more, so I'm doing a fly on the wall. We talked about a fly on the wall in that reading. I figured, what the hell, I'll just do one. Three cards and a bottom card and a pre-shuffle. This is my pre-shuffle. I said, give me a fly on the wall on the runner's side, on the incoming energy side. What's going on in their life right now? Okay? Beautiful. All right, we'll see what happens. We're staring at a king of swords right there. Let's see. Now, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, or you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. Your runners are moving at different speeds on their timeline. This could be future influence. Whatever it is, the energies of right now are bringing a lot of truth forward. He's holding Archangel Michael energy, the sword of truth right there. He's holding it. It's the king of swords crossed by the knight of cups okay this is someone generally speaking this energy is just surface energy right generally speaking it's somebody here who realizes that they want love that they want to move towards something else and again i'm doing a fly on the wall it doesn't matter if your person's married or single it makes no difference it could be how they're living their life right or it could be a, for a lot of you it's a spouse that they're with or a relationship they're in they want out it's, it's plain and simple. The King of Swords cuts out anything that's shit, right? In favor of something that's good. They want something good. There's the Knight of Cups. This is a deck we didn't touch in the Twin Flame Journey reading. And when I pulled on the DM side, we had a Knight of Cups as the base energy, right? Underneath that is the Sun. Again, somebody wants to be happy. The energies around them, just even on the surface energy, are shining a light on a lot of truths for this person. So where does that take us? Something's over, dead, done, ten swords. What is over, dead, done, ten swords? False happiness. Because this, this ten swords also crosses this sun in this reading. So again, somebody here has had false happiness. They're done with that. I see it here just with these two cards. Underneath that is three swords. They're done with the pain. This energy... Whoever, look, if your person's, it, this comes up the same every time. It doesn't matter what deck I grab, okay? I, I know how to put things out to the universe and get a response. Whoever, if your person's married, for example, or in a relationship with somebody, and that's why they ran from you, they decided to stay with that person, let's just use that as an example, okay? That person that they decided to stay with has hurt them in some way. There's some kind of pain there. Pain that usually isn't talked about, it's probably carpet swept. At the end of the day, there's a lot of bravery and strength. Your, your runners, the runners in particular, this energy right now is opening the heart chakra. All right? I know that with the Leo energy here of the sun, which is forward movement, right? Passionate forward movement. I also know this ties to the sun because of the yellow. And underneath that is a brand new beginning trying to happen. The Ace of Pentacles, very slow energy. It's taken them a long time, a long time. Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour, Ace of Pentacles, book ending the King of Swords to realize these truths. It's taken them a long time. This is somebody who ran from you, kept their life the same, so they could keep their life the same, whether they're single or married. Okay? Kept, they, they ran from you to keep their life the same, to not change, to not have to feel, to not have to be vulnerable. Taking a long time for them to realize these truths, but something's over here. And what's over is a false happiness. Someone getting real about these three swords. And that three swords, where is it? Is the main card that ends the separation phase in the soulmate cycle. So this reading does pair nicely, just in the pre-shuffle, with the twin flame journey I did earlier. Ties right to it. Well, let's do it. Let's pull three cards and a bottom card. All right, on that. Now let's go deeper. Let's do it. I'm giving it a shuffle. Give me a fly on the wall on the incoming energy side. The runner, right? Incoming, because you guys are here with me, so. Well, give me a fly on the wall on the incoming energy side. What's going on in their life? Give me three cards and a bottom card. Let's elaborate a little deeper on the surface energy of that pre-shuffle. All right. And we're just shuffling, that's all. It doesn't matter. It's, it's always come out kind of the same. Although, again, things are very different right now. But here we go again. We always get powerful cards in the environment. The environmental energy is judgment. And that ties directly to the King of Swords. So Archangel Gabriel, 
Okay? Biblically speaking, Archangel Gabriel blows the horn. The horn translates the word of God for the common man. They understand it. Right? It's Google Translate horn. All right? For those of you who are all social media and techie and all that kind of stuff. At the end of the day here, somebody gets it. It's judgment time. All right? Do I resurrect this or do I make some changes? Well, the energy right now is different. You have to get past judgment to get to the world. When you get to the world, you get to a fool, reset back to a fool, the zero card, on a new level, on a higher level, on something new. If you don't, if you get stuck here and you resurrect past mistakes, relive the past, I'll give it another chance even though it's a toxic relationship, you remain on the same level, but you still go, you just get shot back to the fool and it starts all over again, right? We see it all the time with people in bad relationships. All the fucking time. The bad relationship. I'm leaving you. Okay. Right? And then they talk. Can we have dinner? Can we talk? They talk. And they fight a little. And they have makeup sex. And then they're back together again for a little while. And, the pro and there's a honeymoon period. And then it goes to shit again. And then they're gone again. And it goes round and round and round. That's someone stuck on the same level. They're stuck in a feedback loop of their own, own mating. All right? Let's go. So... The universe saying, hey, here we are. Here we here we are again. And it's not surprising with Neptune retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Capricorn, Saturn retrograde, right? The full moon in Capricorn, all of that I pulled on. It's not surprising. Here we are again. And and, and by the way, what's fueling this? You're running. The King of Wands. Are you gonna be the bird? Who what did I say about the full moon in Capricorn, which is the energy we're in right now for the next couple of weeks? I said who, it's who do you want to be in this world? Who do you want to, who? What kind of energy do you want to reflect out? Who do you want to be? You want to be the king, it's judgment time. Do they want to be the king of wands and repeat over and over again and stay in this and have things their way with their ego and their pride and their superficial relationship? Or are they going to, are they, are they going to, you know, listen to the horn basically and move on and live in the new energy? Even the universe doesn't know. It can go both ways. But there's some talking happening. The King of Wands is talking. I got throat chakra here with the blue. I got throat chakra here with the blue. Okay. That's, that's just the environmental energy. That's crossing the center card I'm going to pull. The base energy. Let's go. Ten of Wands. It's not a good house to be in. I'm doing a fly on the wall. And it doesn't matter if they're married or single. This can all be how they live their life. Right? The energy that they exist in. All right, it, what, but I like to use the examples for, for someone because most of you they ran to keep a relationship, to keep a marriage they have, which, which you know is toxic. You told them is toxic. They know it, right? And you, even if you didn't tell them, it, it, you showed them by how they feel for you. If, if their relationship was great, right, they wouldn't, you wouldn't matter. I mean, I got a great relationship. I see lots of hot girls. It doesn't matter. I don't like go crazy on it. I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. I acknowledge somebody's hot and move along, move on down the road, right? I don't stick around and follow them and drive by their house and have them, you know, pull tarot readings on me to see what I'm feeling. It doesn't happen. At the end of the day here, it's a terrible place to live where they're at, single or otherwise. It's ten wands. It's a struggle, but this is a ten. Tens are the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning, which is true because it's judgment time. Who are you going to be? We're in this full moon energy. All that, all those other planets I rattled off are retrograde. And we, we did readings on all of them. We know things are coming back for review. Yeah. You want to stay here? Are you happy? I don't think so. I don't think so. But they, hey, they can make their free will decisions and decide to just keep the status quo. King of Wands does that a lot. But un underneath it, and I didn't know it was there. It just wanted to show itself. The Two of Wands. Right? They're looking in new directions right now. Why? Because it's shitty to be at home. And if this is your home life, the Ten of Wands, it's not a fun place to go back to. This is the kind of energy where someone leaves work and doesn't go home right away. They hang out at a bar for like hours and hours and they go home after their person has gone to bed. You know, they, 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 they come back. It, it's that kind of thing. You just don't want to be there. All right? And I know we wouldn't. Center card. Six of Swords. It's an exodus energy. Right? It's somebody here who is, I said I, I, that there's talking. Blue, blue. The King of Wands is talking. These, this judgment, this horn, what this horn is teaching them, they're talking about. All right? 
Somebody here wants to move in a new direction. That's very clear. It is up to their free will. It's minor arcana. And this is minor arcana. It's very much up to their free will, but the environmental energies are God's source, the universe itself, making them really look at themselves. Really look at yourself. All right. Let's see what else. What's red with ten wands? <laughs> yeah. Again, this is red with the ten of wands. These are red center, left, right. These two go together. This is just the base energy. We've talked about it to death. I'm not going to keep going. But I said, this is, this is someone leaves work and doesn't go home. They don't want to. Oh, it's terrible there. It's awful. This is something that's very heavy on their mind. It's something somebody feels, it, in a fly on the wall, somebody feels trapped in a relationship or in their life and they want the fuck out of it. They just want, it's, it, this, is, this all adds up to Calgon take me away. Right? I talk about that. I know the younger people don't get it, but there's an old TV commercial, Calgon bubble bath. Right, and it's some. And the commercial always starts with some mother with kids screaming all around her, and horrible chaos. Husband yelling and screaming, and she just yells, "Calgon, take me away!" And then boom, she's in a bubble bath, relaxing. Right, it's the way it is. This is Calgon, take me away. There's a lot of pressure on their side right now. And again, blue background, talking, 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 talking about this pressure. It's driving them crazy. Someone feels trapped. All they want is Calgon to take them away. Head toward the bubble bath. Alright. Fine. We'll leave that right there. You can kind of see judgment a little bit. Right? Okay. That's judgment. Uh, let's talk to the witches. Let's cut the witches first. Oh, by the way, randomly at the bottom is three wands. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. That's an, es that's, that's an escalation from the old two of wands right there. It's underneath all that. Alright. Let's go. Let's talk to the witches. After the cut, randomly at the bottom is a hierophant. This is a marriage for a good number of you. This is family. This is whatever. This is something. Something long term. Something that's been around a while. How they're living. However it is. The way they've been. It's been a, lo it's been a long time. Uh, it's time for a spiritual change for this person. There's no doubt about that. Let's, let's, uh, let's take a look at Calgon. Let's pull on the Six of Swords. Alright? You know... Three cards and a bottom card. You know it's always 400 because I clarify, but hey, it's free, right? It's a free reading. Chill. Let's let's see where this goes. It's a fly in the wall. And we're getting it without having to secretly plant a spy cam, right? Which, which can be illegal. It can. What's going on? Six of swords. Let's go. Let's talk to the fly. Let's talk about Calgon. Oh! Oh my god, the whole fucking deck just exploded. Uh, two of cups reversed, flew out. I've got cards all over the fucking floor here. The deck exploded. Hold on while I pick these up. I wish you could see this. The one that's showing itself is this. These were all face down. I just picked them up. That These don't count. They don't matter. They go here. Well, yeah, they go here. We work with this stack. Okay? We've got a some transformation, a magician here, and then looking at it as a poker hand. All of these are the top card. All right, I've got the. I've, well, it's going to go like this then. All right, it's going to go two of cups reversed, eight swords, six of wands, the world, and the two of pentacles. Somebody wants something new, but they feel trapped. So, again, victory energy here. There's a chance that they just stay where they're at. We're under new energy here, though. Things feel different. It, it's, it's heavy. It's hard to deal with. All, the end result is frustration. Two cups reversed means there isn't a meeting of the minds. This is a contract card in this context. It can mean that it's a false soulmate as well. Someone they thought was a soulmate if they're married, but they're not. Um, but in this case, it's a contract card. A contract legally is a meeting of the minds. That's what it is. That's why if a contract is unfair, well, it's null and void, right? It, it's just, it's null and void. And any, any ambiguity within a contract uh, from the, like someone who's giving the contract, if they're ambiguous, if they're vague and all that, it benefits the other party. So that being said, this here is an out-of-balance relationship. It's terrible. I think one side wants to hold on to them and the other side 
wants uh, and they and your person wants to leave if your person's single it's again their life is out of balance they're going batshit crazy and it's all creating a lot of heat a lot of friction a lot of fighting a lot of frustration a lot of oh shit what do I do there's a whole lot of that here all right what else what else is here well now we take the main stack right we flip it we have more information we have a queen of wands it's superficial it's a superficial relationship that they haven't been interested in in quite some time whether it's a marriage relationship or their life they haven't been interested in quite some time they keep looking at you you're out here on that boat they're very attracted to you in one layer of energy and another layer of energy is just my queen of wands male or female it's a superficial energy this is all nonsense this person is changing and and the connection just doesn't do it for them anymore what's what what's here ten of wands ten of wands ten of wands burden heavy it's red with the magician they want transformation they want to change things I don't think they believe they can I think they're in their head too much uh, this this is like all the tools you need you know it's like the universe saying they can do it you can do it right like that but for them it's a struggle right probably because they're in their head too much there's a lot of friction here a lot of fighting a lot of not a meeting of the minds it's out of balance did we have double eight of swords double ten of wands here the energy's trying to change they can see the victory in going they can see the victory in staying because then at least you know it's the devil they know round and round and round they go generating nothing but heat coming off this card it's hot it's frustration on a high level and here it is it plays out right there what's 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 read with all of this the ace of wands again someone who's wanted to leave a long time because of everything I talked about here but again they're in their head too much round and round there's fighting it's tough I don't even want to go home I don't I, I feel like I want change but I'm not sure I could do it but yet the you know the energy around me says I can because I, everything feels different it's ah like that so this keeps flaring up and blowing out they the poor little butterfly looking for somewhere to land the butterfly of transformation right there looking for somewhere to land and he keeps he keeps landing there and then this disappears and then he got he's stuck in the air again and he lands it's in and out round and round they've wanted to leave a long time in fact they've set the intention to leave a long time they, they go for it and they go back why because it's easy the number one reason people stay in toxic lives toxic relationships is because it's easier it's just easier to stay it's the number one fucking reason it just oh it's going to create a hassle the family's going to think this and what about the kids and what about money i can't support two households the end of the day all that matters is your soul right you can't support two households well you'll have to figure it out everything works itself out it's a buddhist principle but it doesn't work itself out if you go round and round and generate a bunch of heat and overthink things right and that's what's going on here this is this reading looks like a mess on the table what's what's the fly on the wall telling us about your the, the runner's side right now with all the energies around it's a fucking mess it's a goddamn fucking mess that's what it is holy shit and it's superficial it's just all stupid nonsense it always is with the eight of swords let's just so what's going for most of you again it's a marriage for most of you or a relationship they're in if this is a fucking marriage i can dig it if it's their life we get used to a life it's our core programming they're single they like living by themselves or they thought they did but they don't it's it's going wrong fine but it, for most of you this is a marriage or some kind of foundation of their life a family type situation whatever it is but let me just say if this is a marriage what the fuck honestly if it were raining outside, I wouldn't even crash at their place. I'd, I'd, I'd sleep in the damn park. I wouldn't go there. This is horrifying. They don't even want to go home. Okay. And I'm telling you, and they're not here to hear it, they can do this. The universe, this is, they've got the power of the magician behind them. They can make this change. It will all work itself out. It's very clear from the energy here. The base energy is the magician crossing the six of swords. It's fine. No worries. You get there. You got plenty of Calgon in the cabinet. But oh my God. What else the universe want to tell us about this four of wands situation here? 
ah, the stability of their life. For most of you, this is a marriage or a relationship. I just have to be honest. Okay? But it, it can be. They can be single too. If this is them single, holy shit. If it's that crazy to end that, I mean, wow. They, they got to make some changes. And they want to make some changes. The world, the most powerful card I can pull, comes out just before, just after victory and just before the Two of Pentacles. And you heard, you, pro you didn't see it, but you probably heard the deck explode and the cards hit the floor. I mean, it was half the fucking deck. And I took it as it, as my intuition said to grab it. And this is what it is. And I showed you what I did. All right. Let's go. Give me one card and a crossing card to end this. What do you want to say, universe, about this? What's this fly on the wall have to say? One last little message here. You got anything to tell my viewer about this? What does this all mean to my viewer? How about we ask that? Because this is a fucking mess. Okay. This is some. Is it over? Are they fighting? Yeah, it's probably fighting here. It's been long over, and yeah, they want out. But I see it going round and round and round. They're still at this judgment. You know, there's still this urge to be the king of wands with the queen of wands and this superficial life, superficial relationship. It's nonsense. There's a lot of secrets here. There always is with king and queen of wands. They understand what the universe is trying to tell them. They understand the environmental energy. That's Ar Archangel Gabriel. That horn translates. They get it. But there's always that free will decision to just keep things the same because it's easier. And that's, that's one of the energies here with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Wands. You get used to it. It's a bit of, it's a bit of masochism, really, on some level. But you get used to this. You get used to being in a prison. Right? With you, the energy is freer. They can, they're free to love, to feel, to be something, you know, to grow. You, you grow each other's energy if you were to come together. Yeah. It's great. But when you're used to this and this, and this two of cups reverse, you know. But now the energy, because it's different with the world card here, it's forcing some kind of decision. And someone keeps going round and round in their head too much. I would say there's a lot of fighting here on their side. I would say words are spoken for sure. I got a lot of blue on the table in all the right places. What's going on? What do you want? What does this all mean to my viewer? Right? What is it? Uh, this is the incoming energy, the or the static energy that's here with me. What does it all mean to my viewer? One card and a crossing card. All that fucking shuffling. All of it. And the four of wands came back. Ain't no fucking card trick. It's a Vegas, and I'm not pan or teller. I'm too tall to be the short one and too short to be the tall one. At the end of the day, pan, Steve, and teller, right? I don't know. Four of Wands is the environmental energy. What it means for you is a chance at this person. A chance with this energy if they can get their fucking shit together. Okay? Because this is shit. This is no way to live. And they can do this. They want to. All they got to say is the magic words. And what are those magic words with the magician here? Right? Get it? Magic words. What are they? Calgon, take me away. Okay? You can go ahead and yell it in your own life, too. Knock yourself out. Calgon, take me away. And at, the end of the, at the end of the day, it's all they got to do. They've already acknowledged that they want that bubble bath, which is you in that analogy. What's going on here? Oh, seven pentacles. The universe has a message for you. A big message. You want victory? You're one of the, Look, here's the six of wands. Right? On one side, they can see the victory of staying put because they use it's what they're used to it's the devil they know on the other side of it is the world the energy has changed they don't like it anymore they want something new they're feeling you on a high level in this energy it's causing a lot of friction it's causing a lot of this all you got to do for victory your victory for transformation is keep your heart chakra open green butterfly all right keep your heart chakra open and you will get the prediction from the universe is four wands a stable new beginning, a pathway, a chance at the Ten of Pentacles with this energy if you just sit tight. Just let this motherfucker play out. That's all you got to do. And what they're going to do is what they're going to do. It's like I told you, it's up to their free will. If you interfere here, you might have some problems. All right? That's what the universe is saying. That's what the energy says. You do what you want. Make your own decisions. You're all grown-ups. I hope. 
except for the one one or two 12 year olds that watch me which I still can't figure out but anyway at the end of the day just sit tight somebody here understands what that horn is blowing it's up to them they want to stay this it's, it'd be, certainly be easy just to stay in that throne right but they got other ideas it's there all right the other ideas are there there's no doubt about it and underneath it all we didn't look beyond this underneath it all what what's what's he looking at is this lover's card the feel your connection is the is is the causing all this all this fucking chaos all this fucking in their head you're the round and round you're the new energy you're one of the victories what's on their side of flying the wall can be summed up as two of cups reversed out of balance no meeting of the minds a lot of friction energy friction energy fighting yeah it can be fighting when two energies have friction they fight a lot it does not mean they love each other as some misguided people believe oh we love each other we fight so we love each other no you fight because your energies are different different frequencies friction it's the it's the difference between a I'll grab my guitar it's the difference between a nice major chord and a tense chord see that's fighting that's tension you want major chords you want if you want the hit you don't do a whole song with a tension chord so at the end of the day this whole their whole life is a tension chord and you're nice you're cow gone so just let this play out they get that right but sometimes you get used to it after a while you know you just get used to it two energies that fight a lot which is what I definitely pick up on here if your person's married or in a relationship. If not, they just fight with themselves. In other words, their environmental energy is at odds with their energy, with their soul's true purpose. Either way, two, two people that fight a lot, or if you fight with a group of people, it's not because you love each other. You might. There's love there, I'm sure. But it, it's a sign that if, if it happens a lot, it's time to go. Or time to try to address the friction. There's no way to address this friction. It's so out of whack. I mean, it's it's a mess. It exploded the witch's deck all over the floor. That's how bad it is. It's just, it's it's gone. No use crying over spilled milk. This is over. All you got to do is sit tight. That's it. Sit tight. And you got a shot at getting to ten pentacles with this person and getting some victory. All right? There is communication on the horizon. All of this is here to teach you something. There's that page of Pentacles from the Twin Flame Journey reading. All right? It's all here to teach you something. You may learn some of what you're supposed to learn from me. All right? All right. That's it. I don't know. Maybe. If you do, great. If I, I don't, whatever. But this is what it is. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I do my best for you guys. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. And please, don't keep hanging around with people that you got friction energy with. Either address it or realize there's friction energy and move on to people you're more harmonious with. Right? Life's much better in major chords and nice minor chords and sweet mellow, sweet mellow minor chords than it is in diminished sevenths, which was that tense one that I played for you. All right? All right, there you go. That's your reading. Actually, that was just a diminished. But either way, same thing. I could have added a seven to it, but I didn't need to. It's tense enough. This here, that's some tense shit. All right, good luck.